Well, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I haven't read this poem in 16 years, so I have to get into my kind of poet type of uh, you know stance kind of mood. So forgive me if I stumble. The lines between hospitals and semi-distant valleys of old dried-up houses were cut a long time ago, during the time when the real innocence was lost. This memory echoed about three childhood decades ago, a time when the first lullaby duets were harmonized with the sounds of a blunt-fisted cheek, liquor-infested affection, generational sister war cries of foul female retortion, of stepdad's old boxing reflexes, and the faulty waves of energy penetrating through layers of stained sheets and stretch marks, waves that ripple through the unmeasured depths of refuge waters. And so this divine seed was planted during the time when the winged flew back home, when the feline's five senses rejuvenated, when the balanced water cycles were completed, and when the gravitational lunar poles were aligned with life, love, and death. Ancestral spiritual attraction giving light to this moonless rose now transformed red and steadily growing, th growing through the cracks of cervical concrete layers. Dilation of the creator's eye on the edge of a silver-lined pedestal bed where the giver of life is now in ceremony. And as her flesh begins to tear, she cracks a smile. She releases water bag butterflies. She reaches and holds onto sun-ray magical handles. She's helping the winter sunset. This giver of life is holding her ground. So when I wrote this, I was like, okay, you know, I, have, I'm, I want to acknowledge all the things that she went through and was her transformation. And, um, and so here at Homeboys, I see a lot of you going through that, that stage. You're, you're, I, have, I have a couple homegirls, homegirls will be like, you know, I'm here for the job. They started out saying, I'm just here for the job. But then all of a sudden something happens. All of a sudden you see them going to speaking engagements and hanging out with G and you know, checking out movie premieres and going to class and smiling while they're working. That's a beautiful thing to see here. To see someone crack a smile when they're washing a the window. You know, that I come, I come to work for that, to see that. So, you know, those of you who, who are on this journey, they say the longest road you will ever walk is from your mind to your heart. So those of you who are on that journey, I want to encourage you. And those of you who want to start, you know, this is the place to do it at home, boys. So that's my thought of the day.